Hey all you sweet beautiful people out there, I'm back with a new look, a new tutorial. It is Valentine's Day look. The foundation that I've used today is L'Oreal Perfect Match and my shade is Honey. Together with Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil, together this creates that dewy 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 effect on, this, on the skin and I'm so much in love with it. For the brows I used Anastasia Beverly Hills. The palette I used for my eyes Huda Coral Obsession. The first shade goes right on the crease line. Using a fluffy blending brush, keep your hands light and hold the brush at the tip, far away from the brush. The next shade goes on the crease line. It is important to blend it in with the first shade. Should look something like this. Keep blending as much as you can. The third shade from the same palette goes over the crease line. Don't forget to blend it well with the previous shades. And then using the third shade from the same palette, it's kind of a burnt orange shade. Uh, just gently place the shade on the outer corner of the eyelid and then just, just use a blending brush and, and diffuse it in the other shades. Uh, just like that. Keep adding the shade little by little and keep diffusing it at the same time. As you can see, I have used a blending brush just to diffuse the shade into the other shades that I have used previously. And then finally I used Revlon Cream Shadow. It has this subtle shimmer to it. Apply it well with a flat brush right on the inner corner of the eyes towards the middle and then blend the edges with a blending brush. Don't forget to use any primer before starting any eye makeup. I mean to say use an eye primer. Using the yellow from the palette with a blending brush, go under the lower lash line. Gently blend it. And then the pink goes under the lashes too. I'm starting from the middle of the lower lashes and then connecting it upwards, blending it gently. Then using this dark orange shade, blend all the shades well so that it looks complete. I use Sigma Gel Eyeliner today, the wing and the edges need not be perfect.
and then filling my waterline halfway and connecting it to the weight. I used Zoeva Naturally Yours palette and picking up the shade Timeless Chick. Go over the line above the lashes that you just created and smudge it gently. Keep adding the shade little by little on the lower lashes too. And I'm going to go off camera and work on the other eye. And I'm back. I have applied false eyelashes and mascara. And this is how it looks like. The mascara that I used today is L'Oreal Unlimited. And it's in black. Now adding some glitter, I used Urban Decay Heavy Metal and it's in silver. Gently apply right over the cream shadow that was applied earlier. Just like that. This makes the eyes look more glamorous. The eyes should look something like this. The face with that shimmering oil with the foundation looks just so perfect. Talking about it, I mean, I'm so in love with that. It's, it's actually a body oil, but then, you know, it really goes well with foundation. I mean, if you if you have it, I mean, if you have something like that, then use it, it's, it's wonderful. Ignore the loose powder on my nose and finally I realized it, super. Moving to the next step, adding some shape and warmness to the face. I use Galen Bronzer Terracotta. Just adding the product little by little. You don't have to have a really very heavy contour for this look. Just add a little structure, not forgetting the nose and the forehead. The concealer I use is Maybelline, just blend it well into the skin. Blend the concealer well into the skin. I used a brush first and then I used the beauty blender. And um, it's not necessary, but uh, works for me, in fact. And um, I just thought of sharing it with you. So, yep. And then, as you can see, I have used the beauty blender after the brush. And just keep blending and keep, keep diffusing it and blend it into the skin and um, make sure you just keep dabbing it. it just don't drag the beauty blender on the skin just keep dabbing it just like that
Add some loose powder over, this, over the concealer as it, this prevents the concealer to crease and um, look, it also prevents the concealer to look cakey. So it's very important to add some loose powder over the concealer. You see how it looks? I love, I love exactly what I did at the beginning. I added the shimmering oil to the foundation and oh my gosh, I mean, I just love the skin right now. It's, it's super, super cool. I mean, um, it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's just like your skin. I mean, it's like, I mean, so beautiful and uh, not forgetting to contour the nose. It's very essential. I have a small nose, see? I mean, I just, I just love the complete, you know, the skin I mean just adding that one product to the foundation it, you know, it creates a complete complete different look I mean it makes the skin glow and also you know, at the same same time it, it, it makes the skin look more healthy you know it, it's it's it, it doesn't look as if you have overdone something or you added something it, it just makes the skin look so healthy and then get back to adding a little more of the bronzer the face should look something like this neat and warm see what I was talking about looks nice and neat and super cool I'm super excited to use this blush it's a Korean product and it's called I'm Mime and and the shade is beloved red also perfect for the Valentine look look how pretty it looks heart shaped and all you know it's perfect just press it inside the blush and then on the cheeks with a with a brush blend it well super cute i loved this product if you live in hong kong you can pick this product from any sasa store For the lips, I use two shades. One is YSL. It is called Mystery Red. Mystery Red. Yes, Mysterious Red. Oh, Mystery Red. It's called um, Mystery Red. It's called, yes, it's called Mystery Red. And the other is Girlin. Ooh, I loved combining both the shades. It, it looks super, super gorgeous. I mean, I love shades like this. I mean, it's perfect for this look. Completing the look, the final step is adding some highlight. I used NYX highlighting palette and the palette is super, super, super cool palette. A little is enough. Using two shades, I'm just highlighting the cheekbones, nose, chin and forehead. This is the complete look. I hope you like this look as much as I love creating this look for you. Happy Valentine's Day. There is only one happiness in life to love and be loved. I shall see you in my next videos. Take care of yourself. Mwah.